In this tutorial, we'll look at how to extend OpenForum to take advantage of any existing custom uh, user authentication. For example, let's say that your application already has an existing user database and corresponding login screens, and you'd like OpenForum to take advantage of that existing infrastructure. The first step in doing this is to create a class that implements I user repository. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now I user repository has two functions. The first is find by ID, which passes in a user ID as a string and ex expects an open forum user object returned. Uh, the second is find current user, and this would return currently logged in user, uh, or else return null if there is no logged in user. So I've got a little bit of uh, template code that I'm going to copy and paste in here to speed up this process a bit. So here we have the final class. Uh, there's a few things to look at. First is that I have a private variable called uh, users, which is just a dictionary of users and uh, their user ID. Um, then in find by ID, I just look up the user from that dictionary based on the past in user ID. Uh, and then in find current user, I grab the name of the current identity uh, from the thread um, if that's an empty string, I return null, meaning no user is logged in. Uh, otherwise, I again look up the current user from my user dictionary. One other thing to note here is that the user object from OpenForum has a few extended uh, properties that are not used by default. Uh, the first is a URL to a home page for that current user, uh, and the second is a URL to an image for that user. So that's our user repository. Uh, there's one other step to get this to work, and that is to open the global ASAX file and register our new user repository with OpenForum. So that's all it takes to implement a custom user repository. Let's go ahead and run that now and see what it looks like. So here we can see a post that's taking advantage of the extended features we've implemented. We can see the uh, avatars for each of our users, as well as we can see that the username is now actually a hyperlink that will take us to whatever URL we provided in the user object. So in this tutorial, we've looked at how to extend OpenForum to take advantage of an existing custom user authentication scheme. 